Hello everyone, it's your boy Chuck Thunder, and we're giving you an update on actual character named Chuck Thunder, not Charles Thunder this time around, because I wanted to show you what it is that I'm working on with this character. Um, today, um, so if you don't remember Chuck Thunder, Chuck Thunder, um, his character is specialized in casting, and so I've been working on how to, you know, level up this casting. So the basic path that I took for casting um, up to this point was to smelt a lot of metals, so smelting iron, copper, and lead, and making steel, and things like this, um, to make early level stuff. Um, some of the things you might learn early on would be taking coal and iron, you could find these things all over the place just themselves, um, to make different um, items, like I can probably right now buy some coal here and make some iron and make cannons themselves. You know, that's early, that's not that early, but there's some here that are really early stuff. Um, here we go. Making carpentry tools, making spare rudders, retreat bells. This is what I spent most of my time was collecting lumber and, or, and doing carpentry tools until I was up a high enough level to do the metal smelting. Once you do the metal smelting, you're getting all the items that you need to do other things like weapon manufacturing, iron and steel to make daggers, swords, and then eventually I did all this until I was finally up to European armor where I picked up iron, steel, and brass. You can get all of these things if you're a Spanish player. The best place to do all of this is to go to Barcelona and Algiers, turn iron, in, iron ore into iron, get steel and brass from Barcelona and turn them into European armor. European armor is a great resource to sell in Nanban. I did about 300 of these and gave them to Charles Thunder and Charles Thunder is actively right now on his way to um, Japan where they are at war. And when a town, a uh, city or Nanban area is at war, arms are of higher importance I believe. So there is a need for arms and I am going to bring them there to see what sort of goods I can get. Um, so he's auto-piloting himself right there right now on, another, on the behind the scenes of this episode. So I did all of that until I was uh, skill level high enough. I also picked up, so here he is now, I am skill level of 11. So that's what I needed to do in order to make um, uh, the European armor. I have plus one because I also happen to have an aid. Where is my aid? My aid's name is Victor. Uh, ironically, that's my real name. Uh, and Victor has casting plus one when he's in a payma paymaster uh, job. So that's what I have him in too as well. Plus it also reduces vigor when casting. So he's a great casting uh, aid. And then, since I'm still working on leveling him, I could continue to make European armor, which I do for the most part, but I said, you know what, it's about time that I level it up a bit more and try some other things. So, I bought some of these books. I bought a cannon casting, making extra armoring, cannon casting large, and normal cannon enhancement. Now, where to get these books, just you Google them onto UWO um, wikis and you'll find out where you can get them but the normal cannon enhancement has a good amount of cannons that you can make and one of the ones I've been f trying to make more of has been rapid fire 16s I want to get to making these so I'm currently casting 11 plus the one I can make rapid fire 16s so in order to do that I need cannon shot bronze and iron now I said I could also buy bronze I could buy bronze from some city um, which I figured, well, why buy bronze when I can make bronze? And that'll further level my um, skill. So what I did off camera with, an, with the Charles Thunder account was go to Dublin on the map. I'll show it to you. Dublin's here up in Ireland. Um, or is that Scotland? I have no idea. One of these two places. Um, I went up to Dublin, invested about 300000 of my own money. Uh, so you can either go into here, Dublin, go to the um, banker or the city official, I should say, and invest money in, and then go to Manchester, and then go back and invest money, and then go to Manchester and invest money, or you can bring request investment books and get Dublin all the way up to 300000 and as a gift, when you get to 300000 you get the Alloy Smelting Book. And in the Alloy Smelting Book, you can now make bronze with using copper and tin ore. And I said, okay, well, where can I get copper and tin ore? Ironically enough, 
you could buy all of that right here in Hamburg. Copper and tin ore, and you could even get iron ore and lead ore and all the stuff you can smelt up for scale. So I bought tin and copper ore, and I started converting it to bronze. I started taking that iron ore and converting it to iron. And then, as I said before, in order to do the rapid fire 16s, which can sell people who want to like grind their um, cannon skills, will need uh, things that fire frequently. Now they're not the most powerful cannons, um, but they do fire rapidly. So I'm going to make enough iron and bronze from here, and then I could even make cannon shot. What does cannon shot take? Honestly, I don't know. Weapon manufacturing book. Uh, nope, that's not where you do that one. Where do you do cannon shot? Firearms techniques. Cannon balls. Cannons. Can I make cannon shot? Oh, I smoke book shipwreck basic. This is one of the other things I want to make is MMCTs or MCCTs, Master Carpentry Tools. And then this is how do you make um, LCCTs. Um, but MCCTs are something you could also make. But I'm trying to think. Steel cannonballs. There we go. So I need cannon shot steel and gunpowder. Okay, yeah. I'm not going to bother. Not worth it. I'm just going to buy the cannon shot from someplace else. Um, well, you know, cannon shot do I need? I'm not making steel cannonballs. I want to know how I'm going to make cannon shot. Right? Cannon shot is what I need to make. Oh, so then where can I make cannon shot? Can I make cannon shot? Nope, doesn't appear that I can. I'm, there's probably a way to do it, but you can always buy it. And cannon shot, I think you could buy in like Lisbon and or Seville, which is one of the main places I like to go to. I'm going to see if you can get cannon shot up this way. Um, probably is my guess. But anyways, so I'm going to make some rapid fire 16s. Now, obviously, I'm going to need storage space in my inventory to carry these um, rapid fire 16s. Here they are. And it takes 55 bronze, 35 iron, and 50 rapid fires to make just one. Sorry, 50 cannon shot to make just one stack of 16 rapid fires. So. I'm going to do this, uh, I'm going to do as much as I possibly can of making bronze, iron, and cannon shot that I can cur currently hold, and then turn them into the, the rapid fires and see if I can sell them. Now, I don't know what rapid fires sell for, but I'm going to try. Even if it doesn't, that's something that I think might be fun to make. Um, carronades are another one that I might make. I need steel, cannon shot, and uh, cannons, which cannons, cannon shot, and steel can all be bought down in Spain. This in Barcelona, this in Seville, I believe, and this Seville too. Um, so that might be something I make. Carronade 14s and Rapid Fire 16s. I know there's better things out there, but if it's something that becomes profitable, great. Otherwise, I'm going to do it in, you know, to level up this character, but I primarily am using this character to make those European armors, which are so easy to make if you're Barcelona and Algiers just going back and forth. And so... That's pretty much what I've been doing. I've been making literally up all of those uh, uh, those European armors just so I can do Namban. And that might be what I use this tune for, mostly. Um, and then, of course, I should probably stack him up with enough of the things as well so that when I shouldn't be going to Namban alone, which is one tune, I should be going to Namban with another tune. Um, I don't know if I... Can you do three tunes? Yeah, I think you can. And I've never done that. I've only ever used two accounts. Um, but I'll probably do that at some point. Uh, go to Namban with more than one tune uh, and bring European armor to try to get as much Namban goods back as possible. But it takes work having to open up two windows in the game. Right now I'm running full screen for the sake of recording. It doesn't make for very good recording. I have two screens like that um, up toggling back and forth. So... But there you have it. That's what this tune has been doing, in case you've been curious about what Chuck Thunder does. And Chuck Thunder... Oh, where did my character go? Chuck Thunder does a lot of um, the casting work for me with my other character, for the cannons that he might need, and then for his Namban runs. So that's why people make other tunes to, to fulfill the roles that the other tunes aren't doing. So if you've ever been interested in what I do with this character, now you know. 
Uh, we can do, I've been working on Gonzo Rivera, the original starter of this Let's Play series, because I wanted, uh, I w I've been going back to him because he's doing the circumnavigation quest, and unfortunately, he's stuck in, mm, he's stuck in the area where he's got to do the battle, and I don't have any AOS's Amulet of Sons to get him out of it, so I'm kind of leaving him there for now until I get, uh, I should have probably brought one with me, um, with uh, Chuck, uh, Charles Thunder and AOS, but I forgot, and I'm not in any rush to go rescue Gonzo. Gonzo is a sewing uh, and uh, such kind of tune, uh, so he's been he can make sales and things, but that's not really what I'm focused on. I'm really focused on just getting the ambin on one character done. So, with that being said, now you know what Chuck Thunder does and how he helps me with my other tunes. Um, and that's it, guys. I appreciate you stopping in. It's been great. It's Chuck Thunder. Oh, and uh, let's see if anybody wants to say um, anything on the game. I'm recording. Say hello to YouTube. Hello? And my phone's ringing. Well, with that note, guys, it's been great. 